Hello, my friends. I'm Pastor Doug, and it's my joy to visit with you again today. I usually start my videos with a devotion, and we'll get to that in a moment. But today, I'm so excited to talk to you about our outdoor service that's coming up this Sunday. And I really want to make sure you're planning to attend. The weather looks favorable, maybe a bit cool, but we're going to get a chance to gather together. Uh, hopefully a few more of you will come out as uh, we come together in a safe manner and gather uh, for this special service. Now, remember these things about Sunday. You'll need to bring your lawn chairs. Uh, remember to maintain social distancing. We'll be gathering down back behind the NPR. The stage will be set up by the uh, kitchen entrance. And parking will be available on the opposite end, just below the parsonage. Certainly, I uh, want you to come uh, comfortable, dress as casual, uh, and in layers uh, that are fitting for the early morning hour. I see the forecast is going to be a little cool that morning. Uh, but the service is going to be informal. Uh, the setting is going to be spectacular. And I am just really looking forward to greeting all of you for this special service. Uh, please do come early uh, and be in your place because we are going to live stream this service. And so that means we will begin promptly at 9 a.m. So I am looking forward to seeing all of you Sunday morning uh, be in place 9 a.m. Uh, down on the lower parking lot uh, just behind the NPR. Uh, now for that devotional thought today. Comes from the basis for that devotion today comes from Philippians 1, verses 3 and 4. And Paul says, I thank my God every time I remember you, constantly praying with joy in every one of my prayers for all of you. You know, Paul is opening up his letter to the Philippians, giving thanks for the good work that God is doing among them as they partner with him in ministry and witness to their community. In the summer, as I've been writing devotionals uh, for the church, uh, I've been thanking my father, my wife, and many others because so many folks have impacted my life. I thank God for the faithfulness of so many in each congregation that God has called D and I to to serve in. I certainly want to thank God for Wesley Church and the good people here who now speak into our lives, who are helping create cherished memories as we share together in ministry. I thank you for your prayers, your encouraging words, and your faithful service to the Church on the Hill and our surrounding neighborhoods. Now this week, I want you to do something special something that I believe is really important. I want you to think about the people who have impacted your life, a grandparent, a neighbor, pastor, parent. And as you think about those persons, I want you to do two things. First, thank God for them and celebrate how they have been a blessing to you. And then secondly, find a way to thank them to be an encouragement to them for how they have blessed your life. Be specific. Let them know how they have touched your life and how they have impact, how they have had an impact on you. You can do this by, well, you could give them a call, write a note, send a card, but however you do it, be a blessing to them today because they truly have blessed you. And I'm going to tell you, my friends, you will bring joy to both of you as you do this. I want us to all be more intentional, just like Paul, in thanking God for those persons who have touched our lives. Now, just a few quick reminders. Um, I'm really excited. Uh, this week, both Jeff Miller and Joyce Barnhart are beginning their eight-week study of the Old Testament. Uh, Just class will begin Sunday night at 6 o'clock, and Joyce, Joyce's class begins on Tuesday morning at 10.30. This study will include some daily reading assignments, a weekly group meeting, and a video presentation that covers the material for that week. We have intentionally offered two uh, classes to keep the group size small, and uh, my friends, there is room for you in either class. 
Uh, we do need you to RSVP even for Sunday service. Uh, you can do that uh, by emailing or calling the church office. Um, we ask you to wear your mask uh, and we thank you for your cooperation. We continue to live stream uh, our services on Sunday uh, at 9 a.m. They are live streamed on both Facebook and YouTube. Certainly, if you think you've come in contact with someone with the virus, if you're not feeling well on Sunday, or you're just not comfortable um, joining us yet, please continue to worship with us online. We understand and we just know and trust that that's the right choice for you. Uh, Jeff Miller's Sunday School class continues to meet then following our service uh, in the fellowship hall. Well, I thank you for joining me this morning. Uh, it's always uh, good to, uh, to just visit with you for a couple moments. And let's close this time uh, with a word of prayer. Let us pray. Loving God, I thank you for all the wonderful people that you have brought into our lives as Dee and I have been in ministry over these past 30 years. We have shared many blessings and tears and have always felt blessed as we shared in the gospel in each community. Help us to all encourage others today by thanking them for the way they have touched our lives too. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. My friends, thank you for visiting with me today. We'll talk again soon. And may the peace of God be with you. Stay strong and stay safe.